everyone wearing costumes? Is it uh, Halloween already? Of course not, it is otaku -ton. What's up Montreal? Today we are at the Palais des Congrès attending Otaku Town 2012. I must say that this year the costumes are way better than the previous years. So I really believe that's going to be way more awesome. Let's go check things out inside and of course all around. Okay, so with me, I have a lovely couple. They're actually matching. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. So, can you tell me what are you displaying today? Uh, we're cosplaying as Godo and Godot from uh, the third game of Ace Attorney. He's actually the original version of the character. I'm just playing the my own version of the female, who doesn't actually exist in the game. He only exists. Speaking of Ace Attorney, did you know there was a live action movie that just came out? Oh, absolutely. We know about it. Uh, we, we seen it at Fantasia two days ago. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday night we went to see it. How was it? Uh, best video game movie adaption ever, I would say. I've never seen anything matching it or anything nearby. Amazing. They were really respecting the spirit of the game. Um, the cast was amazing. The story, I mean, the adaption was, was, was crazy. I mean, our characters were not in it, but we'll forgive this one for them this time. Yeah, just because it was that good. <laughs> so, okay, could you guess what character am I displaying today? Uh, you give it a try. <laughs> and how about you go? <laughs> and, uh, I have no idea, I'll be honest with you. Great, because no one does actually. Can I? Of course. Okay, so uh, here, I'll, I'll pose and you take a picture of me, okay? Okay. I have the fighter of love and justice with me today. Hi, how are you, Sailor Moon? Konnichiwa! With me, I have a lot of fun with me today. And I'm going to be a lot of fun. And I also like the mien. I think I'm going to be a lot of fun with the mien. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have a master ball, the answer master ball is guaranteed.
to uh, plus, what did you like the most? Uh, I think it was very well run. Everything was very organized. I knew where every panel was, and the badges are really helpful to have the map. Oh, actually, I was going to ask if you could take a picture of me. Oh. Yeah. I know it's not you. You're deceptive. You guys are not used to this, right? No. I need a picture, so you take a picture of me. <laughs> yeah. how's, how, how's it feel to take a picture of someone else instead of you, you're being taken? Uh, I'm used to taking pictures of other people, so yeah? it doesn't feel any different. I am Sailor Moon, and in the name of the moon, I shall right wrong and trap over evil, and that means you! <laughs> particular over here, a uh, style that's called steampunk. I mean, if you can see, we have things that are out of the ordinary, really, really special. And we have people over here who are going to explain to us what exactly is this, uh, this art. Now, here are the designs that are made by all the people who are côté of me. So, the people who are part of the community of steampunk Montréal. Montreal. Uh, I'm Daniel Pro. I'm an artist steampunk who lives de, de, de l'art steampunk. Je fais plus particulièrement des sculptures, comme des sculptures d'insectes, d'araignées et des bijoux. The masquerade is one of the biggest activities here at Otaku Town and as you can see people are ready, they have worked so hard on their costumes and they all have excellent and awesome costumes. So we wish our, the best of luck to all of them. What's the costume you're presenting? Um, it's from a webcomic called Homestuck. I'm basically an alien fish tr queen troll thing. <laughs> hey, can you guess what costume am I wearing? Oh, those aren't your normal clothes? <laughs> well, that, that is our original answer so I guess, I guess it could be good. Okay, before we try to let you go, uh, may I? Yeah. Okay, so just take a picture of me. Alright? You ready? Yeah. How, how does it feel for once taking pictures of someone else instead of being taking pictures? It's not as fun, like, being the one getting a picture taken of, but... Okay, okay, so, so to make this more fun, I'll take a picture of you, okay? okay that's Oh, you must really have the most extravagant costume today that I've seen, literally. Well, thank you. This is my second costume, so that's quite a compliment. <laughs> and did you make all this? Yes, completely everything I did. And it, it, it took you long to do it? Um, well, I worked on this project over the span of about seven months, and it took about maybe 250 hours, maybe a little bit more. And is it the Queen of Hearts or is it the sp uh, special queen? Oh. No, this is from Trinity Blood and the character's name is Esther Blanchette, Queen of Albion. Um, so how are you enjoying co uh, 
Otaku Town in, in our world. Oh, it's really fun. I love it, especially when there's um, little girls and little kids and they come up to me. So I hand them my shiny thing and they just love how it sparkles. And I take pictures with them and the moms are happy. And I like seeing people smile and taking pictures with me. With us, we have another contestant of the masquerade. So can you please tell us what costume are you displaying today? I'm uh, I'm cosplaying Zekrom from Pokemon Black and White, kind of translated into a human version. And, and uh, which rank are you participating today? Uh, I'm uh, actually novice, I think, because this is the second ever costume that I made on my own. So I just want to say. Which dragon are you? I'm actually a dinosaur called the T-Rex Tyrant. I from a video game called Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. And I actually started playing that game, but I guess I'm not at the same level as where you are right I, now. I actually haven't played the game yet either. <laughs> wow, uh, well, you were able to make the cost? Yeah. The game came out three days ago, but my friend told me about it like nine months ago, so. Wow, and I guess you've been making this costume ever since? Uh, well, not right away. Like, I didn't have the time or money. So I worked on them on and off for about 20, uh, for 20, for two months. And I put maybe 40 hours of work into him. And can you guess what costume am I wearing? Some cowboy? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's some cowboy, clown, everything. Everything's possible with me, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm very flexible. <laughs> yeah. All right, then have fun today. I'll talk to you on. Mon ami Geneviève et moi, on est déguisés dans des costumes de la princesse astronaute qui était un, une émission qui jouait à Canal Famille dans les années 90. Okay. Et notre an, est, on est rendu à quoi? Artisan. On est rendu à artisan, paraît-il. <rire> So this has been Otaku 2012. For the pictures, I'll leave a link down below in the description area where you can go click and view all the pictures that have been taken at this year's event. There are so many more stuff happening and it is only left for you to come and discover it for yourself. Uh, this has been the person who still doesn't have a name and I'll see you next time on CUTV's What's Up Montreal.